All right, it's that time, it's belly burn time. And so today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to prepare for a belly burn challenge. Before I go on, hit the like button and let me know, yes, are you in the next belly burn challenge? Comment below, which belly burn challenge are you going into next? Is it 15, 16, 100? Not sure when you're watching this video. So number one, when you're preparing for a belly burn challenge is that you don't wanna put on five pounds before a challenge just to spend the next two weeks trying to lose those five pounds. And yes, you're starting a diet on Monday, but if you're doing it right, there's no reasons why you need to cut out any of those bad foods or cut out alcohol, cut out any of your bad habits. We just need to put you in a budget. So don't go and have this crazy cheat weekend where you gain five pounds over the weekend because it's gonna take you two weeks to lose it. Number two is that you need to boost up your calories. Now, some people stay in a deficit for too long, and yes, technically you should be losing weight, but at some point in time, it's like the base of a log has lost its kindling. Food boosts your metabolism, and so when you're getting into that belly burn, you wanna get as close to your base as possible, but staying in a minor deficit so that you're still losing weight, you're still burning fat, but at the same time, you're giving yourself that recharge of calories so that when you cut those calories on Monday, your body is prepared and your body is constantly losing weight and it's also burning fat. The third thing I would tell you is that you need to increase the amount of carbohydrates that you're consuming prior to the belly burn. And the reason why is that we all know that we gradually reduce the amount of carbohydrates that we're consuming towards week four. So as such, we wanna create that balance, right? But your body always wants to find a way to balance. So if you have a high carb, and then eventually we reduce the carbs and we go into high protein, high fat, then your body's gonna say, okay, well, this isn't too bad because it was a gradual reduction of the carbs and a gradual increase in the proteins and the fats and as such your body is going to metabolize those carbohydrates it's going to give you that boost that you need for at least the first seven to ten days and then when we go into that low calorie low carb then your body isn't going to be in such a shock it's going to be a gradual thing and you're going to continue to get results for the entire four weeks versus just the last two Number four is that you should maintain on your maintenance supplements. So if your visceral fat is high, if your body fat is high, if it's a non-stimulant, then I would tell you to continue to maintain those like the Vita Stack, your protein powders, keep taking those, right? Because those are a part of everyday life. But when it comes to your stimulants, like your fat burners or your the ingredients that have caffeine in them, and even coffee for that matter, I would tell you to start to taper off towards the end or like the beginning of a challenge. So the beginning challenge starts Monday, then on a Friday you should start your taper. Eliminate for two days if you possibly can, and then this way you can get fired back up on a Monday and then do a gradual increase of them. The last thing I would tell you is two days prior is you either A, want to reduce the amount of activity, so steps, and you also want to reduce the amount of workouts that you're doing. If you're doing like three workouts a day, then instead of doing three workouts a day and 15,000 steps, maybe you go down to one really good workout a day with a light workout because you're just kind of built around that hour and then reduce the amount of steps to 10,000. Maybe you take this time to mentally prepare or even plan out your food that you're going to eat for the next 28 days. And so reduce the amount of activity, reduce the amount of workouts that you're doing two days prior. This way, when Monday hits, you could ramp up the amount of workouts that you're doing. You could ramp up the amount of intensity. You've got the calories already built in because you've increased the calories and you've got the carbs to accommodate. And you can take that first week to, instead of focusing on just like weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, you can actually build muscle at the same time when you're dropping body fat. So the belly burn's coming up. Make sure you guys put in the comments. I wanna know which belly burn are you in? Is it 15, 16, 100? Let me know when you're watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Number one, don't put on five to lose the five. Number two, boost your calories close to your base. Number three, increase the amount of carbs that you're eating prior. Number four, continue on the supplements that are there for your maintenance in your life. And then number five is that you need to reduce the activity such as steps and then reduce the amount of workouts that you're doing for two days because Monday you're gonna rest, you're gonna be rested, you're gonna recharge, and you're gonna crush this belly burn challenge.